when it's all said and done, Michael Saylor will go down in history as one of the best investors ever. This is Michael Strategy on the monthly chart, and prices are up more than 300% this year. And in recent news, Michael Saylor just sold another million shares in MicroStrategy to purchase more Bitcoin. Let's get into the article before we continue with the analysis. So MicroStrategy first started buying Bitcoin as its capital allocation strategy in 2020. Since then, the company used virtually all of the money it had and took on debt to buy as much Bitcoin as possible. That's why it's greater than 600 million purchase is so surprising. It only had 45 million in cash as of the third quarter of 2023. Crazy stuff. High conviction. With his latest purchase, MicroStrategy owns over 189,000 Bitcoin and has purchased them for an average price of $31,000. Considering Bitcoin is currently valued at around 43,000, MicroStrategy has over 2 billion in unrealized gains. So what's MicroStrategy's end game? Well, you can never have enough Bitcoin. Now the company is a software business, keep that in mind. But Q3 revenue was up only 3% year over year. And it has ongoing losses. While its unrealized gains from investing in Bitcoin are enormous, it's not communicating a plan to ever sell or use its Bitcoin in a way that grows the core business. Now, Michael Saylor says that MicroStrategy is the best and most effective ETF out there, as there are no fees. And if you look at the top holdings in MicroStrategy, if you just look at the first five top holders, you have brand names such as the Vanguard Group, BlackRock, and Fidelity. Now going back to the charts, we're going to go to the weekly chart and price at the getting rejected from this resistance, resistance band of $500 has in recent weeks blasted through it and sits at $674. Now I do have a target, next target at $800 and we're going to get there probably as early as February. Now let's go down to the daily chart. You have this nice rally, base candle, and then another rally. So that is a daily bias level at $600. However, don't chase price. Look for a pullback. With a stop at the $560 level, before the next leg higher. It's almost baked in. Because the spot Bitcoin ETFs will get approved by mid-January. And that's going to be music to Michael Saylor's ears. Again, 800 is just the next target as prices are going to get and go a lot higher in 2024. Zooming out to the monthly chart, definitely look for price to retest all time highs before the end of this next bull cycle that we're currently experiencing. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Please like the video.